It all begins in baptism. We are put on a road back to God with Jesus as our brother in the waters of baptism. And even though most of us were baptized as infants, our parents and godparents and families were instructed to hand on this beautiful faith to us as children. And that we are to become aware that as Jesus died and rose, so do we in the waters of baptism. So St. Paul, as he's writing to the Romans before he visits the city of Rome, he writes these words. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were also baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. Because we are baptized, because we are our followers of Jesus, we in ourselves, in the very center of our lives, we bear the mysteries of Jesus' death and resurrection. For when we die with Christ, we also are raised with him. And that message that St. Paul proclaims to the Romans today, that insight that he had about how important it is for us as the baptized faithful of God to have everything that we do and all that we are be influenced by Jesus. We, in that context, listen to the gospel today according to Matthew. Um, last week, or on Tuesdays, I usually begin my homily preparation for the weekend, and that begins just by simply reading all the readings. So the first time I read these readings on Tuesday, um, I was a little troubled about what I was going to say as I preached this weekend. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. None of us wants to be unworthy of the love of Christ, but he speaks to his disciples today these very strong words. Whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. As I was digging a little bit more deeply into the scriptures, especially the gospel passage today, I discovered that in this section in Matthew's gospel in chapter 10, Jesus is preparing his apostles and disciples to go out on a mission trip. And he's reassuring them, like last week the message was, don't be afraid. What are you afraid of? Get going. And this week he's talking about like the cost of being a disciple, how we are to be. Now, Jesus is not saying to us that we shouldn't love our mom and dad and parents, you shouldn't love your children. But the basis of the love, the model of that love, first and foremost, needs to be the way that Christ loves us. So we need to always have that in the back of our minds, in the front of our hearts, that when we love our parents, the basis of that love is first through Jesus Christ, who suffered and died for us. As we love our children, the basis of that love, service and surrender and sacrifice, needs to be shaped by who Jesus is in our lives. And then Jesus tells his disciples the really center of this mystery of faith, which surrounds all of our theology as Catholic Christians, that in order to find our life, we need to lose it. In order to be like Jesus, we need to serve and surrender and sacrifice. And that's the kind of love that we should have for one another. Are you unaware, brothers and sisters, that we who are baptized in Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him in baptism, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in the newness of life. 
we are encouraged today and every day to have our God in Jesus, empowered by the Holy Spirit at the very center of our lives. No one and nothing should be as important to us than God. And all of our other relationships flow through that. Today, uh, Mason will be making his first Holy Communion. And we know the bread of life, the blood of Christ, his body and blood is food for our journey so we can live this way. It's not easy to live in a world that encourages us to love in ways that may not always be very healthy. Love that is about taking instead of giving. Love that is about pleasure instead of service and sacrifice. But Jesus tells us the path, the path to eternal life, the path of joy, the path of fulfillment is found in him when we live like he lived, pouring out his life for us. So as we come here today, as Jesus continues to instruct his own disciples, for their mission journey outward. He also instructs us that our love for family and friends, our love for our neighbors is always based in and modeled after Jesus Christ who offered his life and was raised from the dead for our life and for our salvation. Amen.